What's up, guys? How's it going? Bringing you guys a game of Conquest on Scene Crossing, or whatever it's called, but using the AS Val and the Scoped 44 Magnum. And people requested on my previous video for the Scoped 44, and I believe before that someone requested this gun. Um, I actually just unlocked this gun tonight. This is the second game I played with it, and I got the Cobra Sight attached to it, and it's the only attachment I got for it. And I forget what slot it is. I think it's the third slot. You can't put an attachment on this gun because it comes with the suppressor. And look at they just spawn this guy right next to me. And uh, that happens a few times while I'm in here trying to capture the A flag over here. And uh, there's like a tank stuck in the alleyway here, and I got nothing for him because I'm running medic this game. And uh, almost died right there by that guy spawning in the room and fucking flashlight of death almost got me. And uh, Yeah, so like I said in my last video, flashlights are really pissing me off. I don't know what it is about them, but it's just, they've just been pissing me off. It seems like 90% of my deaths are by people with flashlights. And uh, it's just getting a little frustrating, but you know, what are you going to do? I'm still trying to capture this A flag, but... Got no one really around here, and uh, starting to capture it, and then look. Oh, hi. You just like spawning there? <laughs> and get a free easy kill off that guy. He's, uh... Ah, that sucks when that shit happens. It's happened to me quite a few times on this map and other maps. Um, the difference between Conquest and this and previous Conquests is... And other Battlefield games is in this game they will spawn you literally on the flag and it didn't used to be like that I don't know why it's like that like a bad company too you spawn on the B flag you don't spawn directly on the B flag to spawn you in the outskirts of it and you gotta push up to get back in so I don't know why they did that I'm guessing they did that to speed up the pace of the game and if they are it's a stupid thing to do it's kind of like the uh... it's almost like the revenge spawn system that they had in modern warfare 2 and uh... just to get try to speed up the game but uh, it's really annoying when you're trying to capture a flag and they just keep spawning on the flag and but you know what are you gonna do Let's take this guy out and um... Uh, there's actually uh, that guy, Den Kirsten, he does all the weapon stats uh, he came out with like a temporary stats thing for this game and I forget where I saw it at uh, if I find it I'll put a link to it but it shows all the gun damages to the guns and uh, there's quite a few balancing issues just from looking at this chart pretty much every assault rifle is the exact same thing just with different rate of fire and it's kinda like going down the road that black ops went down which is the dumbest thing they could do and it's like every gun has the same damage but different rates of fire so the high rate of fire guns automatically own over the lower rate of fire guns and uh, I wish they would just go back to Bad Company 2's damage model I feel that's actually the most balanced, the most gun balanced game I probably ever played look at this, this, sh this lights blinding me like it's a red laser I have no idea what it is but it, it, that actually gave me a headache when I was playing this in the game and it was really weird and uh... I have no idea where that guy went who jumped in there. <laughs> I have no idea. Look, look at that thing. Shit's blinging. But come up here, hip fire this guy, and look at this stupid flashlight. It's blinding me while he's running sideways. And then he gets me. Figures, right? Yeah, 3% health, too. So, you know, I was happy about that. Oh, oh of course I was happy about that. <laughs> but I uh, spawned back in. And I actually get kind of trapped in this area for a little bit. I just keep on seeing people to kill and uh, prevent myself from moving forward instead of rushing them all. But uh, I see this guy over here and they just keep coming from all different directions. So I kind of post up for a little while. Uh, this map's pretty easy to play actually. and um, really don't know what's the best flags to hold on this map. They all seem to be pretty good. Uh, C flag seems to definitely be the one that people camp most at and fight over the most at the back streets. And uh, <laughs> oh, get lucky there! Guy walks right into my gun when I'm shooting at the other guy. But um, yeah, this map right here is actually 
At first, when I first started playing the game, I absolutely hated it. I'm still not really a big fan of it, but I don't really mind playing it anymore just because uh, I can consistently do well on it. Uh, it's a very small map, and it's almost like a Call of Duty map in, in reality. It's really small, nothing but narrow hallways, choke points, streets that aren't very wide, that don't offer very much cover, and uh, I don't know, it's a weird map. Uh, I guess on PC you go across the bridge for the 64 player variant. Wonder how that plays out. I'm guessing there's only one flag on the other side of the bridge. That kind of sounds like that would be a, a map balance problem if you ask me. So I don't know how that plays out for you PC guys. Uh, probably plays bad though. <laughs> it just sounds like it plays bad to only have one flag on the other side. I'm sure it's one of the deployments is over there too making it even worse but using this gun right here and this gun is extremely underpowered um, it seems like it's better than it was in the beta but it's still really bad it I forget what the exact gun damage on it is but it's not nothing too special and pretty much the assault rifles are the end-all be-all in this game like the AK and the F2000 um, F2000 statistically is better than the AEK, but um, I don't know. I just seem to do better with the AEK. Left 2000 is a little, a little weird for me. But uh, I don't have that many attachments unlocked for it. I actually just unlocked the uh, foregrip, and after I got that, it made it a little bit easier to use. In the beta, I had absolutely no recoil, so it, in this, it kind of does, but still not really. In the um, <laughs> the foregrip, made it more like the beta. And for whatever reason, it does four hit kills up close just like every other assault rifle and that's obviously a big problem because how are you going to have a gun like the AK which is like 600 rounds per minute and that thing which is like 900 rounds per minute have the same exact bullet damage I mean I guess it's I don't know it's just silly it seems like the route that Black Ops went and in the long run it will make the guns dull and boring one thing I really liked about Bad Company 2 is the guns had personality and the, say, higher rate of fire, higher damage guns had shitload of spread so you couldn't really go full auto. In this game there seems to be no spread except for the light machine guns so, you know, he could just hold down the trigger and be just as, success <laughs> just as successful as tap firing. And the only reason why I'm tap firing with this gun is just to conserve ammo because it only has 20 bullets in the clip or the magazine and one in the chamber and it takes a little bit to get used to and using the scope 44 magnum is not the best of choice of sidearms in fact it's probably the worst sidearm in the game that and the 44 magnum because it's not nearly as good as the beta and even in the beta excluding the damage glitch which gave you one shot kills with it all the time at close range if they were sprinting it seems like it has a much slower rate of fire than the beta and it's almost too slow and it's almost pointless to use and you'll see coming up right here I actually get see just how slow it is actually that guy drops me with the UMP and I uh, get actually end up getting revived right here and my buddy goes runs in there and uh, takes him out and uh, running up here just to make sure there's not anyone else in here. Get a call out that there's some people on the third store. And I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. 44, 44, 44. 44 sucks. So, yeah, don't really enjoy using this gun. I like the ACOG sight on it. It's, it's a, I, I really like the scope for it, but the gun itself is just bad. Um, even the regular 44 without the scope, I had a really hard time using it. And in the beta, it was like one of my most used pistols because I really liked it. But they really slowed down the rate of fire of it. And it's not nearly as good as it was in the beta. And uh, I hope that's something that they change in the future. But we will see. There's obviously going to be a lot of gun tweaks and gun balances that they will do to this game. Because uh, they did quite a bit for Bad Company 2. I don't remember the last patch for Bad Company 2 that did uh, tweaked anything for weapon damage, but I'm sure it was around the time the last map pack came out, or probably around Vietnam, somewhere around there. I don't know, but they're gonna—they they definitely got some balance work to do with some of these weapons. 
Um, all the assault rifles pretty much are the same exact stats. I'll kill four bullets up close, like five or six at range. I forget what the exact number is, but <laughs> really unbalanced when you get slow rate of fire guns that have the same bullet damage as extremely high rate of fire guns. It really doesn't make any sense, and <coughs> ooh, excuse me, don't know exactly what they're thinking. But apparently, the guy in charge of <laughs> doing the gun damage and the gun balancing in this game was the same person who did either Bad Company 2's Vietnam or just regular Bad Company 2 and uh, he did not do a very good job in that game so I don't know why they they gave it to him in this game And uh, but over time everything will get better They'll, they, they really go off community feedback of what everybody feels and I'm still not sure of how I feel about the bolt actions if I even want them to make them one hit kills and like up to 20 30 meter distance like how they were in Bad Company 2 still undecided about that um, I don't know I'm sure on PC it's much more of a problem than console but it might get a little annoying especially because you could run bolt actions without uh, sights at all you could just run iron sights but anyways guys final score 26 and 1 hope you enjoyed this game right here and uh Peace. Have a good one.